All right. Good morning, everyone. And typically what I do um, as we get to the end of any class I'm teaching is to give kind of a little preview to the next class that people will be teaching or taking rather. So many of you will be taking the AWD 1000 Web Development Technologies class. Some people took it last summer. Others will take it this summer, as it says. Now, I don't want to read to you, but again, I can't go over everything that's covered in one lecture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in the intro, I'm going to build a simple three page website about the city of St. Louis. Now, you're not going to watch me type a lot. I'll type in the HTML, I'll type in the CSS, and I'll type in the JavaScript. But if I have actual paragraphs of information, rather than you watching me type those in, I'm going to copy them in. Okay? When I get finished, I'll put all of this stuff out in a GitHub repository. Now, just so you can see it, this is what the site will look like. It's nothing beautiful. It's something I created over a weekend. This doesn't work, but it just shows you how you can add a form here. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. And we are St. Louis, so you can see the red. Here's something about the, the professional teams. Notice on the bottom, you could put your name there, for example. And it's also running with the current date and the current time. All right. And there's three pages on here. Here is an about page. And again, I pulled this information that's in here. I pulled it off of, I think it was Wikipedia. I don't know. I wrote this a couple of years ago. All right. And here are some places that you can go to to eat in St. Louis. And all of these are clickable. They all open up to a new window. And they have different things in there. So notice, I can go there. I can go here. I should check them just to make sure they all still work. There's the one for emos. And St. Louis style ribs. Okay. So all of those work. Okay, and we'll talk about this again in a little bit. And finally, what I did on this page, this is a little form here. Again, it doesn't go anywhere, but if you need more information, and I also put a little JavaScript here where you can play a guessing game. So guess a number between 1 and 100. So 50. All right, it says, no, your guess was too high. So 25. That was too low. 38. That was too high. 31. That was too high. 27. I got it. So it's a little guessing game. All right, just to, to show you how you can use JavaScript. You're all, we're also using JavaScript down here to get the date and the time. Okay, so again, I'm going to build this thing from scratch, but I reserve the right, as I've said, to to go in and uh, what I'll do is I'll grab a lot of the files that I have here just so you don't have to watch me type and because like I said I want this thing to be of of a decent amount of time I'm planning on having this take no more than a couple hours all right so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it my saint no period my saint louis website all right. And the first thing I'm going to do in here, and you oftentimes do things like this when you are creating a website, and that is I'm going to create some folders. All right. I'm going to create a folder that's going to hold my images. I'm going to hold, create a folder that's going to hold my JavaScript. I'm going to create a folder that's going to hold my CSS. And as far as I know, at least, that's probably going to be it. I don't know if I made any other folders. Let's check. Nope. Okay. So what are these? Images are just going to be the pictures that I'm going to have in the website. And in fact, I've already got them here. And I'm just, you can see them. They're the same ones that I've already shown you. All right. So I'm going to grab those and put them into my images folder. So there they are. So images are just pictures. All right. Next, I've got a folder called CSS, and that's going to allow me to style things. It allows me to put the color on the website, change the size of images if I want to, change the font, 
if I want to. So it's concerned mainly with the way things look. And I'm going to add a file in there. So I'm just going to add it right now. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, right mouse click. And let's do this. Let's just open up the whole website inside of now this semester you're using Visual Studio 2022, but what you'll use next semester probably will be something called Visual Studio Code. It's a, kind of a stripped down editor from Visual Studio. So I'm going to open this with code. So this is what it looks like. There's my CSS. There's my images that I just put in here. Don't need that. So I'm going to close that. I won't need those anymore. All right, in my CSS, I'm going to add a new file. All right, if I click here, it says new file, and I'm going to just call it, oh, I don't know, how about uh, styles.css. Okay, so I now have that. In my JavaScript, I'm going to add a couple files as well. The first file I'm going to add is going to be called date time, oops, date time.js. I don't know what happened right there, but something did. So I can either click here and type it in. So date hmm, time.js. All right. Or I can right mouse click on right on here on the folder and choose new file. And the other one I will call guess.js. So I've set a bunch of stuff up in here right now. Now, for whatever reason, I've never really read why, but you can see I've got these three folders. I've got my CSS folder, my images folder, and my JS folder. And I want to create three HTML files. HTML is where you put in your content. All right? You don't put those in a folder, though. So I'm going to put them down here someplace. So I'm going to click. And there'll be three of them, index.html. All right. I'm also going to have another file down here. In fact, I could copy it or do whatever. But we're going to have two more files. Let's start with that one. All right. So this is index.html. Okay. And there are some shortcuts that are built into this editor, such as if I put in an exclamation point and then hit tab, it creates what's called a document template for me. It's letting me know here that I'm using HTML. My language is English. This is my header. I'm basically using Unicode. All right, this line here would take way too long to explain, but it's going to allow me to take this site and make it somewhat responsive. There's other ways of doing it, but the way I've done it here, so you, you see in there, it still looks pretty good. That's kind of how it would look on a phone. There's probably how it would look on a tablet, etc. All right. So that's what that line there is letting me do. And again, I'm not going to take the time to go over every single line that's in here. It just would take way too long. And I don't want to take more than a few hours on this. All right. And here's where we'll start putting in some code. Now, here, notice the title. It says document. Well, I don't want it to say that. Title is what it's going to say up in the tab up on top here. But I'm going to call this. This is going to be called, just again, St. Louis. And this page is going to be my home page. Okay? So right now, there's really nothing in here. I'll just type in here, this is my website, just so you can see it. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to run it. And there's different ways of running it, but the fastest way is to right mouse click on here and choose Open with Live Server. Okay, this is my website. And if you look up here, it says St. Louis Home. So that's what I've done so far. Not very much. So I'm going to start putting stuff in here. And I'll explain some of it as I go on. Other things I'm not going to spend very much time on, just so you know that. But these tags that are up here, in fact, this whole head section, these are all things concerning the document that do not appear on the page itself. 
These two things are meta tags. Meta means data about data. And I'm going to add, I don't know, about three more meta tags. All right. And Oh, I don't know what we want to say in here. Something like uh, website about St. Louis. Okay. All right. So what is that? It's a little description about what the website is for. These meta tags are going to be used. If I put this site actually out on the Internet, it would be used for what's called SEO or search engine optimization. And that is where, so if somebody typed in St. Louis, where my website might appear in the list of um, sites and, and things that come up when I you know, type in, in Google St. Louis or something like that. Then I'm going to have a thing in here that says another meta tag, name equal author. All right, content equal, and I'll put my name in here. All right, and I'm going to put in one more. And this is keywords. And what keywords are, are when a thing like Google comes through and looks through your website, it's called spidering the website as they go through it. They're going to look in here to see if I'm actually using this stuff in here. So in other words, I'll put in here for content. St. Louis. St. Louis history. And let's put in one more. How about St. Louis professional sports teams? Now, when you look at this, that's running way the hay off the page, which makes it hard for you to read. All right. But what I can do is I can come in here and where these three dots are, I can click and I can say view and I can tell it to word wrap. So now it's this is one line, but it wraps over two lines. OK. All right, so these are my meta tags, again, that I'm going to use that will hopefully help me in what's known as search engine optimization or SEO. This is the title that appears up in the tab at the top of the screen. All right, and I'm going to add two more things in here. Right now, they're not going to do a flaming thing, but I'm going to show you how they would work in just a second. So the first one is what's called a link tag. And this is going to make it so that I'm going to be able to talk to my style sheet. What does that mean? There's nothing in the style sheet right now, but let's put something in there. So I'm just going to put in here body, just so you see it. And I'm going to put in here background color red. That should mean that right now, if my program is talking, if my HTML file is talking to this CSS file, and I come in here and do a file save all, and I run this again, you just saw it, you can see that it's red now. So I have established communication between what I'm working on, all right, my HTML file and, and this CSS file. All right, now I've opened up the communication between those two. I also want to open up the communication between my program here and a JavaScript file. All right, now that file doesn't have anything in it either. So let's open up that file and I'm just going to put in here alert and I'm going to say hello. That's it. 
So now when I run this again, it should come up with a little alert. Let's see if indeed it does. All right, so I bring that back up. There's my alert that says hello. So I've already been able to come in here and communicate, as you saw, with both, all right, both with my CSS file that's going to allow me to play with the content of the screen and with my JavaScript file. The JavaScript is the programmatic file where I can actually um, do interactions and the like in here. All right, so let's go back and I'm just going to work on this page now. All right, that was very quick in explaining to you what goes on in the head section. That's where we are. And again, in this head section, in there, this is stuff that doesn't appear on the web page itself, but it's, it has the meta tags that allowed us to do the search engine optimization. And it had the title that goes in the tab up on the top of the screen. And it allowed us, in this case, to link both to our CSS file and to one of our JavaScript files. All right. So I'm going to go back to the styles file. And instead of red, for now, I'll make it, I think there's, a, is there a cream? How about light cyan? Okay. And the only reason I did that is if you go back and look at this again. All right. You say it didn't change. That's true because I didn't save the file. So file save all. Now when I go back. Oh, why didn't it change? I don't know. Let's look. Background color, light cyan. Just try something else. How about light gray? All right. File, save all. Body, looks like that's correct to me. Let's open it again. And there's my light gray. Okay. Nothing big, nothing fancy in there, but I'm just going to start developing the page now. So you can hopefully at least see a little bit of what's going on here. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. This is my website. We don't need it. And I'm going to put a lot of stuff in here that's not going to make a boatload of sense. And I'm going to put it in, and then I'll run the program. And when I run it, I'll explain what it is. Now, I'm not, this file right here is going to be about 115 lines long. So I've got about 100 lines to put in here. All right, some of it I will put in, some of it, I will um, copy in, all right? Some of it I'll go in and I'll do very little explanation of. Some of it I'll do much more explanation of. But I want to split my page up into different sections. And at the top, I'm going to have a header section, all right? A header. So there will be the beginning of my header, and there will be the end of my header. Now, there's nothing in it right now, so I'm not going to run this again, all right? Now... Inside of here, I'm going to put what's called a div, which stands for division. So div class equal, boy, oh boy, container. All right, I'm going to put this thing inside of a container. All right, then inside of there, I'm going to put in another div. All right, and inside of there, I'm going to put in we, whoops, an h1 tag. When you have tags in here, that's what HTML is all about. So this is a header tag, beginning and end. This is a div tag, beginning and end. This is an h1 tag, beginning and end. Most tags have a beginning tag and an end tag. Some of them, like a script tag or a link tag, have a beginning tag but they have no end tag. So you just specify the end by putting in that. All right, now we wanna put in here, we are St. Louis. Okay, all right, and I'm gonna save that. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to my program. And I'm not sure why it's not showing in here to be honest with you. So let's go back. And I have no idea if, if light gray is too dark. So in here, let's just go back. The default on this would be white. 
So let's just make it white. Okay. All right. So file, save all. And there it is. And like I said, it's not showing my text. And I don't know why. We'll get it to work, though. I'm not worried about it. All right. So let's see. I'm looking here to see if I mismatched any tags because it should be showing my text and it's not right now. So, and right here it's giving me tag must be paired missing head HTML. There should be, there's my ending HTML tag. There's my beginning HTML and down here is my ending HTML. It should be okay. Header, header, div, 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 h1, h1 doesn't like something that I have in here. So it's failed on line three. There's the beginning head. And there's the ending head. That should be okay as well. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what it doesn't like here. What I'm going to do, just so you see it, is I'm going to copy it in from the working copy. Because I don't want to waste time. I'm hurry up probably at a half an hour. All right, let me grab this and see if the error was in something that I typed. This is the same thing that I typed in before. This is that head section. Paste that in. It's not giving me an error now. So file save all no error and let's go back and see if my we are st louis is in here now there it is there's that hello okay all right this we are st louis is supposed to be what I can get rid of that and i can get rid of let me close all these but the We Are St. Louis is supposed to be this. We Are St. Louis that you see. This is my header right here. All right. Now, it's not going to look at all. I mean, when you look at it, look at this and then look at this. I haven't put any CSS in the program yet other than having the background color be white. So as we go in and we keep adding things, right now, if I went in and just so you see this, I'm going to go back to the working copy here, okay? And I'm going to, just for a second, I'm going to change the name of this file. And instead of style.css, I'm going to make it styles like I did, all right? Now, this is what the site looks like before you add anything to it, okay? So it's not going to look very nice. There it is. There's one page. There's another page, and there's another page. So you can really see, hopefully, what adding CSS does to a site. All right? All I did by changing the name was that the, it's not referencing the right file now. So if I go back and change it back from styles to style, like it should have been, all right, and I go back to my program, and I refresh, it now looks the way it's supposed to look. All right, so this will come together as we keep going in here, but I don't wanna to waste too much time, all right, with all these preliminaries. So we've got the We Are St. Louis. Let me just keep going here, all right? Well, if you look under the We Are St. Louis, I want that to be in yellow, okay? And I want the, whatever one is current here to be in yellow, see that? All right, so how am I going to do that? I'm going to come in here and say this. I'm going to put a special class, a CSS class in here that's called highlight. I'm making it up, and we'll add that later. Okay? All right, so we now have that. Now, the next thing we want to put in here is that navigation. 
and that is the things that say home, about, and contact. Okay, so I'm going to put in what's called a nav section. All right. And in there, I'm going to have what's called an unordered list, a UL. And a UL is made up of LIs, which are list items. And if you, I'm confusing you, watch in just a minute when I run this. So the current one will be a, a color of blue, or a, a color of kind of that orangish, rather. And I'm going to say in here, <clears throat> it's going to say home on it. All right, just like that. Let me add two more. All right, I'll have a home. The second one you may or may not remember was about. And the last one was contact. And this, like I said, this is going to look like dirt. It's going to look very bad right now because there's no CSS that's been applied. So save all, come back to it. That's the end one. This is what we have right now. Not too much. Looks pretty pathetic, to be honest with you. All right. Okay. Then the next thing we want to put in here is we've is this. Um, let's see. Welcome to St. Louis. And hello, we are the gateway to the arch. We want to put both those in there. So let's put those in right now. All right. I am done now with my header section that goes at the top. And I'm going to put in what's called a section. <clears throat> what I call this section, I'm going to call it showcase, is totally up to me. I could have called it hello, and it would be fine. And in there, I'm going to have another one of these divs with a class equal container, just like we did before. All right, and another one of those H1 tags that say, Welcome to St. Louis. And then underneath that, I'm going to put in a paragraph of information. Paragraph is put in a P tag. All right. And I'm going to put in here, hello, we are the gateway to the west. Now, I don't have to, but I'm going to put on, a, on another line just so you can see what I'm typing in. Known for our iconic gateway arch. Fiercely loyal sports fans. And blues music scene. You could put whatever you want in here. Of course, this is just what I put in. All right, so let me save that. And again, what I just put in was this, this code right, right here and here. But since it hasn't been formatted, that's what it looks like. All right. Not very much right now, but I'm just going to keep going. All right. So that was one section of my document. I'm going to put in now another section. And this is going to be that news newsletter. And what that is, is it's a little form that I'm putting on most every page here. All right. Another div class equal container. Why am I doing this every time with a class that's equal to container? Because later I'm going to be able to, to, to for that class of container, I'm going to be able to fix it with CSS so it looks a lot nicer. Have another H1 here that says subscribe to our newsletter. <clears throat> okay. And underneath that, we're going to put in this little form. All right. This is going to hold email. And we're going to put there so the user knows that. We're going to say enter 
email. And I don't need that. There we go. And we'll end that. And then we'll also have a button in there. This isn't going anywhere. All right. We don't learn things like that in the AWD 1000 class. Now, I don't want to waste too much time on this, but again, I want to show you what we just did. So that we did that. Subscribe to our newsletter, and that is this right here. So, so far we've done this and this and this. This was in a header section. All right, this was, well, this is a newsletter section. And this is a section that we call showcase. All right. Now, what we want to do next is the rest of this. So I want to put in this information right here and then the information that's at the bottom. All right. So let's do that. So we're, this, we're going to put in another section here. And I'm going to call that boxes. Each one of those is going to be in a box. You won't be able to tell that it's a box, but all right, that's what we're doing. Another div class equal container. All right. Another div with a class equal box. So box is each box that's inside of boxes. Don't let that confuse you, all right, please. So, so this will be the information about the Cardinals. So when you, you know, what will happen there is when we go to, to bring this up, It's going to go out to the internet and it's going to go out to major league baseball mlb and in a new blank window it's going to open up right there all right it's going to open up the um st louis cardinals homepage. okay all right now we want more than that and what do i mean well, we also want that image in there of the Cardinals, and that's, we already have that. Images, didn't I call mine images? Let's see, images. I don't know why it's not finding it. IMG source equals dot slash images slash logo cards.png and alt equal St. Louis Cardinals. I hate that it automatically puts in those the ending double quote for me. I always screw it up with this editor. Cardinals baseball team logo. All right, let me get rid of this, okay? First, let me see if it worked or if I gave it a bad path or something. All right. There's that big Cardinals logo. We're going to make it smaller later, so don't worry about it. And I wish I hadn't cut off the top here. It looks like I did, but that's okay. All right, so what have we put in here so far? We put in this, 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 and just that picture. So now I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in some garbage text. Okay. All right, so we'll put that in next. And rather than you watch me type, okay, rather than you watching me type, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put in another head tag, but a smaller one in H3. They go from H1 to H6. And the, as the numbers get bigger, the size gets smaller. All right, and now I'm going to put in a paragraph. Okay, I went out and got garbage text, but it's, but it's sports baseball related. So let's see. I'm going to grab this from here. Strike three, you are out, etc. All this stuff. I'm going to grab all that and put it in there. Okay, now that probably doesn't mean much to you. It didn't really do very much for you, etc. And that's totally fine. But again, what I want to show you is what happened here. All right. So you already saw this. There was the logo, and underneath that, there's our text. Okay? Now, I'm going to copy in the next two just because, again, I'm not trying not to waste my time. I'm trying not to waste your time. All right? So what I'm going to do is we've got this section here that we just did for the Cardinals. All right? Which was in a section called Boxes, and it's in a div called Container. And in there, we had a box right here, and that's got all of our cardinal information. All right, so I'm going to add another one in here, another div, and this is going to be the information about the St. Louis Blues. All right, so there's that. In fact, let me copy everything. So from the div equal box on down, in fact, let's just copy both of these. All right, and we've got both those. So copy, and I'm going to paste those into here. <clears throat> right there. Now, do I expect everything I've done to make sense? I expect probably very little of it to make sense. All right, here is the cardinal stuff that we put in. Move this over. Here's the St. Louis Blues stuff that we put in. All right. Here is that actual Blues stuff in here. All right. And then finally, so we've got the Fight Club and the Blues. Don't worry, that it'll be, when I save it, it'll move stuff over, and that's okay. But I want to show you what we've got in here so far, okay? All right, so, so far, we've got this, and it looks ugly as heck. Okay, now it doesn't like something with our Blues team logo. Well, I know what it is. We'll fix that in just a second. But we've got all that. The reason that it doesn't like it is I called my folder here images. So change that from IMG to images. And the one on the bottom change from IMG to images. All right, let me save that. Go back to my program again. And now what you'll see is I'll have all my images. There's the blues. There's the cardinals. And there's the SC Fight Club. I know it's humongous, but that's fine. All right. We've almost finished our first page. It's just a couple things that we want to put on the bottom of the page. Since the top of the page, the stuff we put on top was called a header, the stuff we're going to put on the bottom of the page is going to be called a footer. All right. And I'm going to put a paragraph in there. It's going to say my name and copyright and i want to put in a copyright symbol so i put in what's called an html entity ampersand copy like that 2024 all right and then i'll put in a line break and then on the next line i'll say current date and time 
And don't worry, this isn't going to show right now. It's just going to say current date and time because this is where we will have to put in our JavaScript, which we'll write later. So don't worry that this won't show anything right now. Okay. All right. So file, save all. All right. And when I look at it, it looks like blech. Okay. At the bottom now. I have this Jeff Scott copyright. There's that copyright symbol and current date and time. Okay. So I've got to start. I've got my first one done. Okay. So I'm going to do the second one now. And you'll notice if I click here, that's where I want to be is on this page. But if I click about, I'm going to get an error because about doesn't exist yet. If I click contact, I'm going to get an error because contact doesn't exist yet. All right, so what I'm going to do to try to make this go a little faster is I'm going to take my index page and I'm going to say copy it and right below it, I'm going to paste it in twice. All right, and this first one here, I will name about.html and the second one here, I will rename as contact.html. Oops, I already have the .html in there. Okay. So right now, if I go back and run this, all three pages are the same. But you'll notice I can go to home. I can go to contact or about or to contact. They're all the same. It's the same page, but I'm going to make changes. All right. So why did I copy that? Well, I can keep all of this stuff that I did in here. I can keep all that except for one thing. All right. I don't know what I got here with Joey script. I have no idea what that is, but that's fine. So this one on the home page, okay, it said for our title up at the top. Come on, we'll find it. There you are. All right, we said welcome. We could say home there, whatever we want. So let's say home because that's what index is. It's, it's the home page. All right. Now we're going to go to the about page. So on that one, we don't want it to say welcome or home. We want that to say about, which I put my keys, fingers on the right keys. Now, why did I do that? I just want to show you this. All right. I want to show you this. And that is now if I come here. You'll notice that if I'm on the home page, it says St. Louis home. If I click about, it says St. Louis about. All right. And just so we, we can be complete here, let's go to the contact page. Right. Come on. Right there. And let's make this contact. Now, eventually, we'll put different stuff here. All right. So save all. Let's go back. So now you can tell I'm on the about page. And if I click here now, oh, it says cannot get to contact.html. What did I do wrong? Contact, does it have two dots in it? Yes, it does. Let me rename that and get rid of one of those dots. That's the reason I'm getting the error. There we go. All right, so now, okay, you'll notice contact. So here, right here, if we click here, we're at home. If we click here, we're at about. And if we click here, we're at contact. All right. Let's start changing the text in here because right now it's identical between all of these. So I do want to keep everything from here through here. All right. But then I want to come in and start changing what's going to go in here in the body. All right. Now let's look. Okay. I'm on the about page, but let's take a look here on the finished copy. So this is the home page. This is the about page. Well, we still want the we are St. Louis. All right. And the home and the about and the contact. We still want those. We still want the subscribe to our newsletter. We still want all that. But this is going to change in here. 
and we still want that at the bottom. All right, so we can steal some of the stuff that we had before. And what do I mean? Well, we can keep all this. We are St. Louis. We can keep this nav section. We can keep this. We don't need this showcase that you see right here. We're not using it now, so we can get rid of that. We can keep this newsletter. Yeah, well, subscribe to our newsletter, etc. So that's good. All right. We don't need this boxes stuff that's in here anymore. We're going to get rid of it in just a second. Okay. So rather than boxes, I'm just going to call this main. This is my main area that's in here. I'll put a class of container. All right. And I'm just going to literally remove everything else that's in here until I get to my footer section. All right. So that's all I have. So now what you're going to notice is this is going to look a lot different. Okay. So I'm at the contact page. If you go to the home page right now, I get all this, all that stuff because that's what we wanted on our homepage. But now if I go to my about page, okay, notice that's all that's in there. It's a lot smaller. All right, it's starting to come together a little bit. Now, what should go in here, what should go in here, if you take a look at the finished product, on the about page is this. So I want this information here to go in up to there. And I want this information that's here to go in. So again, rather than me typing it in right now in front of you, I'm going to copy it in. All right. And I'm going to copy it in from my working version. So I'm going to go over here to my about page. And I'm going to find this thing that starts with article. And I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to go all the way down. And then this thing that says sidebar. And I'm going to go all the way down until I get down to here. Okay. And then paste it in. And save it. You will again notice in just a second when we bring it up. Again, this is the finished one, but if I come here now, and if I go to the About page, notice how it's changed. There's all that text about St. Louis, etc., where to eat. I've got to change this from IMG to images, but we'll change that in a minute. Okay, so basically my second page is now all done. So I've got to change all of these to images. So there's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. If I save this and go back, all right, and go to the About page, now you'll notice those pictures are there. There's Toasted ravioli, there's uh, Ted Drew's, there's Emo's, and there's St. Louis Rips. Okay? So we actually have two pages done. Now they look like, pardon my French, crap right now because we haven't applied any CSS to them. We'll do that in just a bit. But we have to do our contact page next. All right? And as we do our contact page, First thing I want to do is I'm tired of this thing coming up right here. Okay, so let me get rid of that. That is that alert statement that we put in here into here. I'll just comment that out. Commenting it out just like I would comment out in C sharp. All right, so file, save all. And let's go into our contact page. Okay, and again, we can keep everything that's in here. We change that to contact. All right, we can keep our body. 
that's good. We can keep all that branding, et cetera, that was in there. We can keep that newsletter so we can get rid of this showcase. Again, we don't have a showcase here, but we've got that newsletter. And what we want is another one of these main sections, which will have different stuff in it. So let me get rid of all this. So right now, we don't have much in here, but let's just to show you. All right, just to show you. Now, if I go back again and I refresh and I go back to contact, that's all that's in there as opposed to about, as opposed to home. So contact, I've stripped most of the stuff that's in there. I've stripped it out of there. All right. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything in. So I need a section in here, another section. I don't know what happened there with the ID equals newsletter. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh. What the heck that is doing, but it's doing something weird here. It's splitting my screen. I don't want I don't want it to. But that's all right. Okay, so we're in contact. And I'm going to come down here to where I've got right after this section, and I'm going to put in another section with an ID that's equal to main, just like I did before. And I'm going to have in here another div with a class that's equal to container. All right. Okay. And I'm going to, again, just copy everything in here. I don't want you to, to, to have to watch me type. This right now, I am at, not there, let me try it. I am right now at almost an hour. All right, and I was going to try to keep this thing down to two hours. Hopefully, I will. Okay, so I'm going to copy everything into here. And I'm copying it from the end page, which is contact. So everything that's in here from the beginning of this article to the end where it says aside there. So I'm going to copy all that. I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to save all. All right. Now, again, if I go back here, notice now it's got this. See that? Need more info? It's it's already built. So everything, all three of my pages, my home page, my about page, and my contact page are now all finished. But they're ugly as heck. So I'm going to start to pretty them up. All right? And I'm going to pretty them up. And this is where I'll spend most of my time. And I'll do a few things, and then I'll go back and bring this up again so you can see what it looks like, then do a few more things, etc. All right? And that'll mean that I have to bring up this. Let me let me do a file save all here. I'll do a file save there. And get rid of the contact and the about and the index. All I did was close them. All right, but now I want to come in here. Okay. So I don't want, the background color is white by default, but I want to set a few things in here. I'm going to set my font All right, I'm going to put this one on the end instead of having it at the beginning here. This is saying right here, I want to use an Arial font. All right, and if you don't have that, okay, if you don't have an Arial font, I want to use a Helvetica. And if you don't have that, virtually every computer's got a sans serif font. Now, nothing's happened yet, but I want to show you how this is going to change. Please take a look at this. Let's let's go up to uh, here and look at this pair of these paragraphs. You can see what they look like. All right. Now I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to save this. 
and now I'm going to come back to here. And now it's changed. I'm using Arial font. All right, so that's what I just did in there. Okay, I want to do what's called turn off any padding and margin that's in here. And it actually, for now at least, is going to make it look probably worse. And I'm going to give it a background color. When you give it a background color, you can use words like white, red, green, etc. All right. Or you can do something like this. And you'll notice that's pretty much that light gray that I showed you before. This is called the hexadecimal representation of the color. And if you don't understand that, don't worry about it. Just means my background color should now be that latest gray. If I do a save all and I go back, kind of hard to tell. All right. Okay. So you can see, I'm not saying it's coming together yet because there's a lot more CSS I've got to put in here. Now, let's set a few things globally. Okay. And when you CSS comments have to be put in like that, even if it's just one line. So these will be my global settings. Okay. Remember I did that container at the beginning and I said class equal container. So when I want to show that in here, I put a dot, meaning it's a class. All right. So my width, I don't want it to take up the whole screen. I only want it to take up 80% of the screen. All right, margin auto, that should center it more on the screen. And overflow hidden. And what that means is if I have too much air, too much text for the area in which I'm putting it, hide the text. Not all of it, just hide what, you know, don't show everything. So let's see what that did. Not much. Okay, doesn't look much different. So let's just keep going. All right. We did some work with unordered lists. Where did we do work with unordered lists? That's our unordered list. Okay. So what we want to say is when we use an unordered list, we want there to be no margin. And we want there to be no padding. Now, I don't know if it's going to look much different in here, other than it might look a little more squished together. All right, it doesn't really look any different. But we eventually want this to go along the side here. And we'll do that in just a minute. All right. Okay. Add a few more things here. Earlier I said we had a class of button BTN. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to give that a height. A background color all right a, no border around the button some left padding Some right padding. Oops, it needs a colon there. That's why I'm getting an error. Color. That's text color. That means it'll be white. And when we put our cursor over it, we'll change it to a pointer. Okay, what did that do? Let's take a look. Looks like nothing on here. Well, it might be that I did not set anything up to be for button, but we'll see. All right, let's go back and look at the working copy here. All right, so that subscribe should have had a class of button, and it doesn't right now. So that should be red. We'll have to fix that. We will in just a second. 
All right, it should be red there. And that send should also be red. Okay, let's we'll fix all those right now. All right, so class BTN. All righty. So we now have to go back to our index and our about, etc. So this was in that newsletter. Okay, we've got here class equal. Why doesn't it, why isn't that working then? Class equal BTN. Hmm. Dot BTN should be setting it, and it's not. Now, I called it something different when I did it before, but that shouldn't matter. BTN is what you often use for a button. So that actually is in there. When you look here, class equal BTN. For some reason, it's not coming up there. If it's there, it should be on the other two as well. So here's contact. It's telling me I've got an error in contact where I've got that number one there. So there's something in here that it doesn't like. So that should be BTN. All right. So let me save that. It's still showing an error here. We'll have to find out what that is and fix it. And our about. That already says BTN. Why isn't that showing? I don't know. Finally, in this guess that we did, not guess JS, I'm sorry, our contact, this send, yeah, class equal BTN. File, save, let's go back to our styles and do a file save on there. Okay? All right. That button should be red, and it's not. These buttons, that, every time you see subscribe on there, that should be red, that should be red, and that should be red. And they're not, and I don't know why, but we're going to keep going, and eventually they will be. All right? All right, that's all I'm going to do right now for my global things, for everything that's in here that's global in my CSS. All right, so, like I said, that's all the stuff I put in here under global settings. I'm looking to see if I have an error in here anyplace. It's not showing anything being an error. All right, so we're going to keep going. Okay, this will now be in our header section. Okay, whoops. All right, so we'll come in here and we're going to set up a few things. All right, I'm going to give it a background. You can say background color or you can just say background. I usually put it in as color. I don't know why. It's just something I've always done. All right, so the background color of the header should now be that cardinal red. All right, color, so the text color should be white. So you can either say pound FFF, FFF, and this is the amount of red, the amount of green, the first two Fs, and then the amount of green, then the last two Fs are the amount of blue. Since it's a repeater like this, you can just say FFF. Either way will work. All right. Let's give it some padding on the top. That's just some area. All right, we're just giving it some space. And we're going to give it a border on the bottom that's going to be this same reddish color.
All right. And we want it to be a little thick, so three pixels, and we want it to be a solid border. All right. So we've got all those. All right. Let's see. We're not done yet. The, the header still needs is still under construction. So far, it doesn't look any different. This is not a great start, Jeff. All right. Let's double check and make sure here. Let me go up to the top. CSS, style.css. Oh, it's styles. That'll probably help a lot. So file, save all. So that's contact, about, does it say style or styles? That says style, so that'll help. And let's take a look at our home, our home our index, see if that says style or styles. Yes. All right. That was a big thing. Now let's see how it's changed. There we go. So there is our contact page. It doesn't look great yet, but it looks much better. There's our home page. Again, doesn't look great, but is looking better. And there's our about page. All right. So we're getting there. We're making some progress. Let's keep going on in our styling here. So since I called it style, styles.css here, but I referred to it when I tried to link it to it as style, it was never getting that file. All right. So these will be the hyperlinks that we're putting in there. We'll make those white. Again, we can say either pound FFF or pound FFF FFF. Either one will work. We don't want it to be underlined, so we're going to say text decoration none. That means just get, rem get removed or remove the underline. I want all of those to be in uppercase. They're not right now, so I'm going to say text transform into uppercase. And finally, I'm going to make the font size bigger. Now, I'm not going to save this yet. I want you to take a look at this. See what these, because this is what we're talking about right here. They look the same here. They look the same there. They look the same there. All right. Now I'm going back and I am going to save this. And you, you may, not, may or may not see it great there. No underline. Okay, and they're not blue anymore. They're white. They still work. I can go to the About page. I can go to the Home page. I can go to the Contact page. They still work. All right, but I'm, st I'm starting to do some formatting in here. All right, so that formatted those. Okay, well, what's in there are those list items. So header li, we want to format now the list items. We want them to float to the left to display in line. And we'll give them some padding. And now you're going to see a very marked difference here. So if I do a save all and I bring this back, well, there they are. Now, it isn't perfect. We want them over there. We're still going to work on that. And we want some space between them, which we don't have. But we're going to get that in just a minute. All right? Like I said, this is a very incremental process that we're using here. All right. So, header. We had a, a ID we put in there that we called branding. And we want that to float to the left. All right, and let's put in a little bit more. There's just a little bit more to put in here. That H1 that's in there, so header, branding, that H1, we want that to have no margin. 
So margin zero. Just turning off any margin. And that's just margin padding or just space that we're putting in there. All right. The nav itself. We want that. That's the, the home contact and about. We want that to float not to the left. We want it to be way on the right. So we want that to float right. Not night, but right. And we'll give it a little bit of margin top here. All right. Finally, you may or may not remember, but we, we, we had a thing in there that we called highlight. All right. So for that and for the current menu item that we've got selected, for both of those, we want the color to be that kind of orangish. All right, it's, it'll yellow, but when it's on red, it'll look kind of orangish, and we want it to be bold. Okay, let's see what that's done. All right, looking better. This doesn't have any space in it, and I'm not sure why, but we'll fix that in a moment. All right, so you can see, look, it's looking a lot nicer. All right, now as I look in here, again, these are those LIs. So what did we do here? That should have been a zero. 1.25 rem, 0, 1.25 rem. Header, li. There we go. You can see how they're spread out a little bit now. Now, this isn't perfect. When we look at this, it's a lot smaller. So why does this look like that here, and why does it look like it here? Because right now, I'm looking at this at 300%. If I bring this back down to 100%, notice this now looks one heck of a lot like that. So we've got that done. All right. Okay, the next thing that we want to do here, and again, we how we do this, the order in which we do this, does it matter? Well, the next thing we have in here, this is that showcase, that Welcome to St. Louis. All right, it's only on this page, but we'll do that next in our CSS. All right, I like to spread everything out, put comments in here. So showcase section. Like that. All right. And in here, well, I'm going to start putting in the showcase. There's not a lot, a little bit. Okay, and showcase was what's called an ID, so you use a pound sign. Showcase, and we want the paragraphs in there and our main column paragraph that's in there. We're going to make that a little bigger. So we're going to say font size, 1.25 rem. And we'll also have the H1 be a little bigger. Two rim. Okay, well, let's see what that did. These two things that we've added in here. In fact, I haven't saved yet. So you can see what this looks like now. So I'm going to save and then we'll look at it again. All right. And you say, oh, it didn't change any. It did a little bit. You just can't really tell. It has a little bit. All right. Now I'm looking here and I wanted to see something. And yep, I missed something in here. So let's fix that. So in our showcase, this is all correct. All right. 
but I missed the stuff at the top. So we're going to put that in right now. Okay. So in the showcase itself. All right. You give it a height, minimum height. We're going to give it a background. That's going to be that picture of the arch. And it's called showcase. Okay. We only want it to show once, so we're going to put a no repeat in here. Close this. I don't need this thing open right now. So no repeat. And again, this is just sizing it on the page. All right, we want it in the middle. And we want it to be white. Okay. Uh, then the other thing that I skipped, so I'm going to put it in right now, then we'll go back, is the H1 tag. All right, we'll put that in right now, just three lines. And you saw how bad it kind of it looked before, but now when I do a file, save all, this is only the stuff on the on the home page. All right, well, that's a little funky, isn't it? Okay, and I think I think I know what this is, but we'll, we're just going to keep going. It's actually here. It's just with the coloring, you can't see it. So for whatever reason. I knew I should have done this yesterday and done it beforehand to just make sure everything was working all right, but I didn't. We're going to get it to work. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm just going to keep going, and then we'll come back to that. All right, I want to get the first page done here. Okay, so let me go back to my styles. And next, we're going to do that newsletter. That doesn't look very nice right now. Okay, I'm going to make that bigger. No. Nope. So this is goofed up, but we'll fix it. Let me double check my CSS on here to make sure everything looks okay. All right, so showcase. RAM background URL images showcase.jpg. That is correct. No repeat, zero minus 25. Oh. Okay, that's one mistake that was in there. Text align center, color, H1, margin top, font size, margin bottom, font size. Let's see if that did anything to change the way this looks. Not much. Nope. All right. We're going to get it. Don't worry, because I'm not worried about it at all. All right. What we want is we want that to come in there. But for some reason, it's still showing as gray. And I don't know why it would do that. All right. Let me check my CSS again, because that should be coming in. This is working now. And we want this to work. The stuff is showing there, the welcome to St. Louis, etc. But the gray back, the background that's there is still showing as gray, which it shouldn't be doing. Now, when I put in the showcase, I want to make sure I made it an ID and not a class. ID equals showcase. 
All right, so that should be working in class equal container, okay? Okay. I don't see any errors in there. So let's go back into here and go back into our style file. It's all working. For some reason, it's having a hard time here with the background. I'm trying to set the background to that picture. All right. And that picture, just so you see it, it's going to look a little funky on here, is that. That's what I want the background to be. But for whatever reason, it's not coming up. All right. We'll figure out what it is. I'm not worried about it. All right. That's all correct. This should be main call H1, but that's not going to change. That that's showing as it is not showing right now. Yeah, that's all correct. All right, we're going to have to fix that, and I will. Like I said, I guarantee it will be fixed. All right, so the next will be for the newsletter, which right now has no styling to it. So we're going to add some right now, not a boatload, but a little bit. So for the newsletter itself, put a little space or padding around there. We're going to make the newsletter the font color white. All right. And the background color, we're going to make a darker blue. All right. That's a real dark blue. All right. Now. There's still, whoops, there's still more that we want to do here, but I just want you to see that's already changed this. See how it looks? Oh, that's the, no, it hasn't changed a flipping thing, has it? Save all. This is weird, but it is what it is. There. Okay. But we want to subscribe to our newsletter. We want both of those to be moved. So there's a few more things we have to do here. Okay. So after the newsletter, then we want the newsletter H1. We want that to float to the left. All right. And then we want our form to float to the right. And they have a little margin on it. All right. And just one more thing. And that is the input that's in there where we say type equal email. I want to be able to, to style that as well. some padding in there all right let's see what this did then file save all there it is and it looks like that on this page and it looks like that on this page and it looks like that on this page. So that's all working. 
All right, again, I'm still, this is still funking me out, but I don't know why it's doing what it's doing, but it is. All right. Next, let's do these boxes that are in here, because this looks terrible. So let's fix those. All right, you'll notice that the, this page here is really coming together. Doesn't look too bad right now, really. And this page, again, doesn't look real bad right now. We haven't done any formatting on those other than these two things. This is the one we're spending the most time on right here. All right, so I'm gonna go back. And after our newsletter, all right, after the newsletter, we're going to do those boxes. Put in some spacing. And then for each one of the boxes themselves, We want each one, oops, well, we can do that like that, but I don't, I don't typically do it that way. So we want it to flow to the left. We want the text that's inside of there to be centered. We want to give it a width. If you multiply 31.5 times three, you're going to get like 94.5. So that's going to take up 94.5% of our screen. The rest will be taken up with some padding. All right. Now, I'm not going to show it to you yet, but I will in just a second. Let's fix the images first. That's all we got left in here. All right. And so remember, some of those images were real big. So we're telling them we want them to have a width for all images of a certain size. Okay, let's save this. And hopefully we'll be able to admire some of our work here. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty good, except for this. And if we go to the About page, Okay, still doesn't look really any different, but we're getting there. The reason that, that these changed size and the ones on this page did not change size is the other ones that I showed you are in a box. All right, the ones here were in that box. They were in boxes, and each one of them is a box. All right, I don't like the fact that that's a little longer, so I'm going to remove that don't have to do that, of course, but I am anyway. So let's see in our index. We've got in here clutch play, clutch play. And that is down here. So clutch play, clutch play. Right there. It's in there twice. All right. If I save that, all you'll notice is they all line up now. Okay, could have done, this is centered, maybe I'd want it left justified. There's a lot of ways we could change this around, but it's looking pretty good now. The home page, except for that goofy thing with, I have to fix that. All right, now let's start working on the other pages. All right, with our CSS. So we did the boxes, because that's what's, the boxes in the showcase are unique to the first page. But now we want to do what's called a sidebar. All right. And that was something that we put on the second page. What we want right now, notice this just comes one, boom, 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 like that. But what we want, if we look at the finished product, is we want it to look like this. All right. So let's do that.
this is going to be those pictures of uh, of uh, Ted Drews and Emos, etc. We want it to float or be way on the right. We want the width of each one to be 30%. We want some margin top on there. And some margin bottom on there. All right. Now, there's a few other things in here. If I just look at it right now, and we go to this page, notice we pushed it all over to the right. That's the float right. That's what it did. Okay, so there's still more things that we want to do in there. So let's do those things right now. We just did the sidebar. All right, but now we want to do some of the stuff that's in that sidebar. going to see a lot from what I just did or not, but let's look. Okay. I don't know if I even saved, but let's double check. File, save, back to here, and refresh. No, didn't really change much of anything, but it will in just a moment. Okay. This is the heading that said where to eat in the loo or something like that. All right. Then our unordered list and our list items. We don't want any bullets on there. When you put in a list, you automatically get little dots on there. So I don't want any. So I'm going to say list style none. And for the LI, the list items themselves. something in here. I'm not sure why I put it in, but I think I might need it. So just about five or six more lines here. All right. So let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I spell background wrong, but I can just put it in as background and it takes it. But I like to say background color. Either works just fine, as I mentioned previously. So we got color there. That's fine.
see a colon there. That's why I get that error. And here I spelled float wrong, so that fixes that error. All right. All right, there's going to be a few more things that I'm going to put in here, but I don't know if I need them or not. So I'm going to put them in anyway. And that's going to necessitate me going back up near the top and adding dark and dark too. And I'll do that in a moment. finished here with what I'm doing right now. Again, I'm not sure if I need services. Part of the problem is I'll go and do this, and then I'll go back and I'll say, oh, I replicated this. And sometimes I remove things in the HTML, and I forget to remove them in the CSS. So... And while I'm down here, because there's just a little more, literally about five more lines that I want to put in here, and this is for the footer. All right, then I've got to go back and I've got to add this dark two that you see, and I'll add that up at the top in just a moment. When I get all done, if for some reason it doesn't work or it doesn't look right, I'll give you the finished product. So you'll have a working product of this when I get done. So the only thing I want to do is I want to go back and I want to add in my thing, I want to add a dark and a dark too. It literally is going to be about 10 lines that I have to add in CSS. We're not done with the CSS, but we're done with the majority of the CSS now. All right, so under the button here, I need a dark. And underneath that, a dark two. Right now I'm getting errors because there's nothing in them, so let's fill them in. When you put in these and you're using these letters, you can put them in an uppercase or lowercase. 
it doesn't matter. So I can say pound FFF, FFF, or I can do it in lowercase. I could even mix them. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I could. Could have combined because there's going to be a lot that's going to be in common between this one and the next one so i really could have probably done more combining than i did i want this but i want the background color to change all right and that's going to be um zero c2340 other than that it's going to be the same on zero c2340 there we go. All right. So let's look, save all, go back to the program we're working on. Well, you can see already how it's improving. Okay. Pretty much now it looks like our, uh, that shouldn't be lit up there. Hmm. Okay. There's, oh, I know what the problem is. Okay. There's our contact page. So that's done. Here's our about page, and that's done. And here's our home page. Still have to fix that, but other than that, that's done. All right, now you'll notice that this says home, but even when I go here, it still says the home. Well, let's fix that right now. All right, and the reason it's doing that is because I've got an error in my code. Where it says class is equal to current, we always want it to be the current class. So, here we want the current class to be about all right so file save all and for our contact we want the current class again to be contact that should fix that still getting that there's one error in here so we'll have to figure out where that is there we got it. Div. Oh, there's a select. And do I not have an ending select tag in there? We do. Div. Looks like I don't want that here, but let's see. Oh, well, the error is still showing. Okay, there's an ending form. Not sure if this is right or not. I'm just trying to fix this. So, right, so file, save all. Now it's showing me two errors. What I'm going to do, because I don't want to waste any more time, is I'm going to grab the entire contact form from the working copy. And I'm going to paste that into here because I, like I said, I don't want to waste your time. All right. So that's in there now. And don't worry about that date time. We'll get that fixed in a minute. It says must be in double quotes. Fine. So we've got that, and let me grab, still showing one error. That's in that doggone div line. Div select. Is there in select and is there in div? I don't know what the problem is. I'm going to do the same thing in our home page. You saw me key it in. All right, but I'm going to grab everything from the working copy because I want to see if I do that if it's going to bring that photo back in again all right now there's going to be a few things we have to change in here such as Jeff all right 
All right, the first thing we have to change is anywhere we're saying IMG, we've got to change that back to images. So that one will change. And that one will change. And that will change. Plus the, um, well, let's, that, hopefully that fixed quite a bit of it. All right. And in our contact page, anywhere in there, we've got IM, IMG. We've got to change it to images. Plus this class in here that says button now must be BTN. So this has to be BTN. Okay, so those have been fixed. Okay, that's not in there, so that's good. That's correct. And that's correct. And that's correct. Okay. Now, am I using button underscore one in here? Okay, that's got to change to BTN. Because I just renamed it in the CSS. So, all right. So, file, save all. All right, let's see if we magically fix most of this. All right, so there's our home page. Whoa. Okay, I know what the problem is. It doesn't say on our home page. It says styles and not, there we go. And let's check it out on our contact page as well. Styles. All right, so file, save all. Let's run it again. Still isn't showing us that. Doggone it, Jeff. We got that. We've got that, and it's working. We've got that, and it's working. Okay. So the only thing right now that's not working the way it should in here is this background image, and I have no clue as to why. So like I said, if I have to, I'll give you the working copy. That's totally fine with me. But what I want to show you, because we're already at almost two hours, so I'll go about another half an hour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the JavaScript that's in here. There's two files. First one is very small. The second one is larger. Okay. First one is the date time. And that's going to fix down here. It'll actually show the current date and the time in just a second. So let's put that in. And I think what I'll do, because I don't want to wait, like I said, waste a lot of time typing, is I'm going to copy each one of these in and then just go over them with you. Okay, maybe that's slimy to do it that way, but that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do this too. I'm going to I want to grab the CSS. Okay, and I want to change this to BTN1. Just a BTN. I think everything else that's in there I think is okay. And I want to bring that into my file because I'm wondering if there's somehow I have an error in my CSS. Still is not showing that doggone it. Probably is something simple. Usually when it is, that's when I have problems finding it. All right. So let's put in the uh, JavaScript. So this is the date and time. Notice I said I, this is where I grabbed it from. 
Now, this is going to look a little different than C sharp, all right, but the ideas are going to be simple, similar. Notice what I'm doing here. I'm instantiating, I'm creating an instance of the date class called date. Then from there, I'm grabbing the hours, I'm grabbing the minutes, and I'm grabbing the seconds. And I'm assuming that it's AM, all right? If the hours are equal to zero, I'm changing it to 12. I'm using military time. Non-military time, it uses military time. So if it's zero, I'm making it 12. Since it's military time, if it's greater than 12, I'm just gonna subtract 12 from it and then say it's PM, all right? If I need to, I'll put in an extra zero at the beginning and then just print it out. And it's current time, and I'm telling it to call it basically every second. So, see right there. Let's go back to here, and let's bring these in. All right, so after I bring that in, and I do a save all, and I go back to my program, it doesn't matter which page, but now notice current date and time, 1046 and 31 seconds. So that is working. All right. All right. And let's do the other one here, which was the guess. And again, you're going to have to look at the code yourselves to see if it makes sense or if it doesn't make sense. All right. So file open. This will be guess. This is a lot longer. I put a lot of comments in here so you could see what was happening. All right. And let's see if that works now. So save all. Let's refresh. We're going to go over to our contact page and see if we can put a number in here. Okay. Too low. Still too low. Too high, too high, too low, too high, and there it is. So that's working. So everything in here is now working except for this, and I don't know why. So the one I'm going to put out there is what I originally called the loo. And that's the one that you've seen. That's the one that has in it, everything works. There's the picture, there's about, there's contact. So that's the one I'll put out there. All right, so right now I'm just going to do a new. Uh, in fact, let's do it like this, the right way. Get bash here. Get a knit. All right, git add dot, git commit minus m, the loo website, Jeff Scott, 417, 2024. All right, let's go, and hopefully I don't have one called the loo already out on... Uh, GitHub, so I can close all these now. All right, so github.com, it's kicked me off the internet. That sure as hell isn't good. But since I'm using a different package, it didn't stop the tape at all, so I'm still taping. All right, so I'm, I'm back here, and now I should be able to get into GitHub. There we go. Let's see if I have one called the Lou, and if I do, I'll have to change the name of my folder. It says it's already out there. Well, I'm going to make it the Lou 2. All right. And I'll put that out in just a second. So I'm going to change the name of this folder. Get rid of all the Git stuff. Delete that. I'm going to change the name of the folder from the Lou 
to the Lou 2. It says I can't because I've got get open. Try it again. Okay, so now it's the Lou 2. Let's go back and do everything I just did. So I'm going to open git bash here. Again, it's now called the Lou 2. Git init, git add dot, git commit, minus M. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just losing it here. Yeah. Okay, we use that same one. All right. Now, I do have the Lou 2. Everything should be cool that's in here. But now I've got to go back into here, the Lou 2, it's available. Create the repo. I want to grab this, copy it to the to the clipboard, and put that back into here. Double check, git remote, minus V looks good. So git push, minus U origin, master. All right, that looks good. Should be able to refresh now. And there is the site. All right, so the site is out there working. I put the original out there. Don't know why I had problems, but I always do. There it is. The Lou 2. Okay. And um, I will give everybody a link to this. Okay, in just a couple minutes. Now, there's one more thing I want to mention to you, and that is if you really want to learn this stuff, there's going to be two websites I'm going to suggest you look at. Number one, www.w3schools.com, which you only need w3schools.com, and go to the tutorials. If you want to learn HTML and CSS, go to these two. If you want to learn JavaScript, go to this one. And you also go through Bootstrap in this class. All right. And RWD. Now, I didn't even talk about RWD. If you just so you see this, there is some extra. Let me put this out there. So that's the. No, 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 no. Sure, we'll keep that up. Um, So, like I said, there's two websites I'd recommend. That's one. And the other one is dev.mozilla.org. All right? And in here, there is an HTML reference. There is a CSS reference. There is a JavaScript reference. All right? That's the other one that I would recommend. Now, what I have done in the past when I taught this class, I will not be teaching it in summer, all right? But when I have taught this class in the past, um, I went through the book. There's actually two books for the class. They're both Muroc texts, all right? And let's go to here to Muroc and to web development books. One of them is HTML and CSS 5th edition. And that's as it's, you know, we use that about the first 30 days to learn HTML and CSS. And the other one, unless they've changed it, because they came out with a new one called Modern JavaScript. But the one we've been using is Murox JavaScript and jQuery 4th edition. I've already gone through both of those textbooks and created uh, presentations on the PowerPoints. In addition, I went through this and did presentations here, here, and here. I'll try to find those and put those out there and send you an email to them. Okay? All right. That's pretty much all that I had here. I think that's everything. All right. I hope you got something out of this. If you didn't, sorry about that, but hopefully you did. Otherwise, again, it's, it's two hours, and you can take a look at it.
and you will have the URL for this probably in about a half an hour or so. Thanks. See you later. Oh, tomorrow I will be doing another one of these, but for the AWD 1115 class. That's it.